Hey guys, Gwyn here and today is another episode of the Magpie Realm. Today we're going to be building a semi-automatic cow farm because I need a food source that's going to actually stay. I'm going to run out of these pork chops eventually and I also need leather and the leather is going to be frustrating to get so my plan is if I make a semi-automatic cow farm then that solves my food problem as well as leather for enchantment tables and everything else so that's what I want to get done today I'm clearing out this area here to build the cow farm it's my own design because I came up with the idea and wanted to do something I wanted to just try out the idea, see if it works, and it does work in when I tried it in creative after a few failures. Uh oh. Hi. So, as well, if you didn't know, there is a new server wide game going on called The Black Spot which is a game where you have to try and get the black spot which is a renamed piece of dye I think into someone else's inventory without them realizing Foxy started the game so he has the black spot at the moment and I guess he was trying to give it to us that's also why as you can see I've put the dirt like this so that any dirt comes in my inventory will be filled up by these and won't go into these three slots here so that I can tell if someone drops into the black spot because if someone catches someone else putting giving them the black spot then that person's failed and they have to do the forfeit um, not forfeit I don't know what it's called like challenge I guess Whereas if he Foxy had given me the black spot and hadn't realised until later, then I would have to do whatever challenge he set me in the next episode. So that's the black spot. It's a mini game me and Foxy designed based off of Hermitcraft's uh, mini game in their season six, which was the hot potato mini game. Today's episode as I already said, we'll be trying to make this cow farm as well as probably a larger wheat farm because we'll need the wheat to breed the cows and you need, for this design I created, you need 50 cows before the design fully works. You could start doing the design before you have 50 cows it just won't be as efficient until you have all 50 cows. So yeah, I'm going to carry on doing this and I'll meet back with you when it's done. Or if something else happens with Foxy. So, I have now finished clearing out an area that is large enough. I guess I can collect all this dirt up now. So this farm is probably going to take quite a few resources. I have to take a trip to the nether for one thing, which I don't actually yet have a nether portal because this design uses four obser no, eight observers and four daylight sensors, which means I need quartz. But I can either go to the nether, which shouldn't be too bad, or if that doesn't work out, I know Foxy has some, which I could probably trade with him. I don't know why I really like wearing this head. It's so funny. I'm a bandit. My design for this cow farm uses quite a few blocks and a lot of signs. So now I was thinking, because I, I want to make this out of wood so that in the future I can build a barn around it and it will fit in with it well and I won't have to redo everything. 
But I was thinking of doing the barn out of, like, not the barn, um, the most of the farm out of spruce wood. However, that take that's a trek to get, and I might actually, oh, GG Foxy. But is diamond armor at last? Uh, I might actually make it just out of oak because I've just collected a lot of that and then some dark oak as well so to start this farm off we need a chest which I'm gonna put I don't know how let's just use some dirt um, say I put the chest here now say I put the chest here do we have one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four, five. Well, that works. And I'm guessing it's going to be far enough that way. So I'll, I'll put the chest here for now. And then these go here. So this is the collection chamber here. I do need some glass actually. I forgot about that. Okay, well, that, I'll have to get the glass in a bit. So this is where the cows will go to then be killed. And then, uh, I don't remember all the design off the top of my head, so I'll have to keep referencing back to it once I build it. But I will see you all again once I've made some progress. I have made some progress, as you can see here. I'm going to light this up for the moment. Um, it's by no means done, but you can see the starts of the killing chamber, the glass. got these. This will be... Uh, the killing method is with lava, and it's a little daylight sensor clock. Uh, not clock thing, but yeah. So it'll be a observer, a repeater, observer, daylight sensor. And it'll go like that for each out of each of the four of the dispensers. And then I'm making this big place up here now. This is going to have water streams. The cows will be above. They will, when they're bred, the babies will fall down into the water streams and will fall into there. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. Okay, so now I am starting to put in where the cows are going to be. This dirt is only temporary. There'll be uh, two blocks down from here. There will be a fence post, which is where the cows will be. But I'm using the dirt for now to sort out just so that I know where the cows will be. So this will be slabs up at the roof and there will be 25 different, so 5 by 5, so 25 different pairs of cows up here which I can breed and then the babies will fall down here, there will be lots of signs, it's a very messy thing with signs there's a lot of them not too many down here in the water chamber but a lot here because i had a problem with the babies not falling off sometimes they would sometimes they wouldn't but you can fix that if the cows are in running water the babies will get pushed off by the running water so that means a lot of signs up here to keep the water in the way it should be so that's going to be something tricky to do later, but for now this is where I've got to. So, as you can see I've made some progress, I've placed a lot, a lot of signs, I'm running out of wood, definitely, I've got a lot more signs to place. So yeah, I am very much running out of wood, I still have to place rows of signs along up there, and the same in each of the gaps in between the rows of fences and then a few more signs in between the fence posts as well. As you can see these are where each of these poles, fence posts, is where two cows will be. They'll be standing off over there. There's uh, half slabs on the top of this block which will be stopping the cows from getting out and there's water that's going to be flowing which is why we need all these signs to hem the water in. And the water will flow, meaning that the cows, they'll still stay in here, but any babies, because they're small enough to get out, will get pushed out and fall down and will go in the water streams down there. Okay, so as you can see, the inside is all done. 
and the water streams are working. If a bit too well, I can't get out. Now the, that's done, what we need to do next is the roof. Okay, so that is the top done now. The final thing we need to do is get two cows in each of these holes and then the farm is basically done. Except, I've just remembered, I've still got to do the redstone down there and get the lava buckets in. So I think a trip to the nether might be our next job to get some nether quartz. And then we can build everything down there. Hey, so I just went mining and got 22 obsidian. So I wanted to get a bit more than I actually need in case I need it for anything else. Now, that would be my favourite is if I had the nether portal in here. In this part here. But that wouldn't work too well unless I had a way up. Which I guess I could have a way up. So that might be my favourite. But yeah, I think I might actually have my nether portal up there. Seems quite an odd place to have it, but I think that might work. Or I could just have a more normal thing with the nether portal being there. But I do quite like the idea of the nether portal being there. Maybe attaching to this bit of here, which can have some sort of thing down to there. But if this was built over there slightly more... So the nether portal could be there. Or the nether portal's there and there's just like the path comes around here, down there, and sort of wraps back around to this point. That could work. Because I do like the idea of it being up there. I don't know why, but I do like that idea. So I think I'm going to work on that now. And I will come back once I have made some progress or even possibly finished it. I have now finished the bit of design to the nether portal and as you can see I also did an extra bit of terraforming because my lovely waterfall down here that was one of the reasons I like this place so much got... Uh, it went a bit awry when doing the fence posts the fence posts interacted with water and then that meant the water flowed in a different way and it went everywhere and things did not go well so in the end I took out the water uh, made a new tree uh, because I thought a long tall tree would fit better the water wouldn't be going over the top of the tree and stuff go round it instead and made this stone here to stop the water from just flowing down there and did a few other things just to this area to make it a bit nicer looking I'm quite pleased with this tree it's quite hard to make it look good I don't know I think it's alright it's just there's like literally the dirt right behind it so it's really hard to like make it too, you can't make it too big, it's got to be tall and thin otherwise uh, it gets just, I uh, can't really, look it's right there so it gets sort of hard to detail it too much. But yeah and I have my staircase going up to my nether portal which you can sort of see, if I go up here you can see it better is in that bit there. I'm really pleased with this. It's a like meant to be flimsy looking sort of rope bridgey design that I've d used before in a different world. It's not the best but I quite like it. Slightly annoying that the fence posts don't connect but it's the best I can do. It goes around there you can walk through the cave and then it comes out there and I've connected a path to it. So I'm going to go to bed quickly and then let's go into the nether. Now first time into the nether. Also actually if you can see first, as you can see this is a yin and yang because there was dirt up here. I'd already had to terraform this place because it was too small to fit the portal which meant that I didn't want to do even more terraforming when these places had to stay being dirt so in the end I just turned into like a yin and yang 
We are in the nether. Wait a minute. We need to go back. I forgot to check whether my portal's in what my portal location would be. Okay, we really need to get the portal locations in the nether set up. Well, actually, this is a good opportunity to show off Foxy's base. So you've got his nether portal and mine, I think it is, as well. There, I haven't seen this area before. It's a little sort of smelty place. Hey, he's using armor stands. That's cool. How's he look with armor stand? I won't check, but... This here, which I think this is his mine down here. It's quite a nice base. Lots of white cats. <laughs> See there? Um, this little area. Oh. In the water I go. I guess that's a creeper hole. Dogs, chickens, sheep. Leaves going up the house. Oh, falling down. Uh, wood. Yeah. Uh, then inside his house. Um, can't remember what's in here. Just this one layer is. Oh no, there is the up layer as well. Random stuff. There's all his uh, equipment. More stuff is bed. And then up here, enchantments. A little shelving unit and lapis chest. Ah. Oh. If only I had 30 levels, I could just randomly enchant something right now. Oh well. Now to find my base from here because I don't know where it is. Oh, of course. Why are my portals always out over lava lakes? I guess I haven't actually told you guys what I'm planning to do for my final base. You saw in the previous episode I found where I want to build my base and it's quite a flat area with some in extreme hills with some uh, not really mountains yet but like hills around them around it so my plan is to get uh, build those hills bigger so that it becomes uh, proper mountains and make that go right around so that we've got mountains all around with a dip in the middle and in that dip I'm going to build a coliseum like structure out of stone and bricks and stuff that is going to be all crumbled like it's a ruin and as if it's submerged in a lake so it's going to be half submerged with just the top sticking out but rather than actually using actual water I'm going to use the fogged glass trick so that I can have this white liquid which it's uh, half submerged in and then in the middle of the say this is my Colosseum though it would actually be round in the middle of that I'm gonna have a little sort of like a Stonehenge thing so it's gonna have four pillars one on either end and then on either corner and then bars going across each one as if it's um, stones with other stones stacked on top of it out of I'm actually planning to do that out of basalt so that's gonna have to wait till the next update comes out and then in the middle of that that's also gonna be half submerged in the lake of course and then floating above that a black black stone crystal uh, floating above it so it's like it's an old ruined some sort of temple thing that is my plan it's going to take a long time now that that's over we can finally finish uh, this off and then start putting a few of the cows in and it's done 25 trapdoors that's good that's something else that I need to do actually because I made a slight change to the farm where I just add trapdoors on top and so these trapdoors are just going to mean I don't fall into the farm so this is going to be the end of the episode and uh, in between episodes I'll finish up putting the trapdoors on and get some of the cows in here but that will be it for this episode 
So, bye, and I'll see you in the next one.